Hey guys, so since the, the bedroom is pretty much done for now, uh, my next thing that I want to do is the sink, uh, the bathroom, the bathroom sink I'm going to do. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this, it's one of those things that I can move in and out pretty easily without, uh, you know, having to uh, build too much into it so that I could reverse it real easily for my wife to keep using the car again. Uh, just a reminder, my wife is still using the car, so I have to return it back to normal every day. But today I'm going to build a sink. And uh, on, a, on a couple of my builds, uh, I didn't really, I always had a sink and, you know, I always questioned whether I really needed a sink and you talk to people who, who build it and a lot of people say, I don't need a sink. But uh, I think the reality is, is that we need a sink sometimes and, and, and we debate whether is that 5% of the time that you need a sink enough to warrant you know, building a sink and going through the hassle of plumbing and then the gray water tank and, and things like that. And, and a lot of people decide I, I don't want a sink because uh, for that 5% of the time, it, it's not worth my effort or the space or anything like that. But uh, I, I actually have a very good solution in it that I came up with and, and you know, I, I, I came up and I, came up with the doggy bed, not the doggy bed, but the doggy bath for the shower. And I'm going to come up with what I'm going to call uh, the oil drain sink. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is not the droids you're looking for, but it is the sink you're looking for. First thing I want to do is I want to measure the, the width of the oil, oil drain. Uh, and I'm going to make it around this this wide right here and I want to make it as fit in as tight as, as I can uh, and you'll see why you know I just don't want the the sink to be sloshing around or anything like that but this frame will hold the sink in and again you, you'll see what I'm what I mean in a little bit Alright, so it's gonna go something like this, and then I'm just having that ice chest to hold it up. And it's gonna fit in here. So now what I need to do is I need to make a a shelf for this this to hold this up. And then uh I'm gonna use this this space down here later for for uh additional parts of my my restroom or bathroom. Uh and you know, you know what stuff you need inside a bathroom. Width-wise, this thing measures pretty much 12 inches on the dot. So I'm gonna use 12 inches and hopefully I, I don't uh, cut away any margin I might have. What I wanna do is when I put in this piece here, I wanna make it uh, flush. I wanna make this flush with the top so when I put it on the top, it'll you know fit it pretty much perfectly. So I'm gonna measure wherever this spot comes out and then screw it in. I'm gonna use my new favorite tool again, the, this pocket uh, pocket screw jig, and then I'm going to use pocket screw so that it doesn't show up. six holes nice and clean it won't show up All right. so there are in. we'll do the bottom part later It's really flush, so that's perfect. That's the way I want it. All right, same way I put on that bottom part. You see, the sink will fit in there perfectly. A little bit higher. And then now we're gonna build the top part. All right, so for, for the backing, I forgot. I gotta do the back before I actually do the top. I'm going to use uh, this sheet of wood here. It, it's a little bit thinner. 
It's a kind of like craft wood sheet. Uh, it's an inexpensive craft wood sheet. It's not the expensive one, but uh, even when it's inexpensive, it's it, it's a little expensive. But you can get this at a Home Home Depot also. It's thinner. I don't need the real thick um, backing for this. I could use the same wood, but uh, I don't want to because it's going to add more weight to it. So when I carry it uh, in and out, it's going to be a little heavier than I would like. top I could uh, go with a solid piece and cut out a hole and you know that that's a little bit more challenging to cut a hole but wh what I'm going to try to do first is I'm going to try to just build a border around this and that's definitely a lot easier than cutting a hole and plus if I don't like the way it looks I could always go back and cut the hole all right so I build the top and just again the magic pocket jig and I built the frame, it's going to sit on top like that. So instead of having a solid piece and cutting a hole, I just basically made a frame around it. And it's going to be easier, of course. Uh, it won't look as good, but I think it might look good enough. Maybe I'll fill in the holes with some putty and sand it down a little bit. We'll see. Top part, the frame, I'm just going to use these brackets. All right, so this top part is down now, screwed in. You'll see that the sink slides right in like a cartridge, and I'm sure you could get an idea of what I had in mind. The sink itself is the gray water tank. So you can pour, take it out, pour out the gray water, slide it in. And the nice thing is that there's already a drain, and that drain is pluggable. So while you're driving or whatnot, it, water is not going to spill out any more than you know oil will spill out so it's it's super contained it's really easy to pour out there's a nozzle uh, you know I use this type of setup to change oil and it, it works fantastic so there's no reason why it won't work with water all right so for now now for the cabinet door the sink cabinet uh, door um, what I could do is I could make one big door come in and out like that but one thing that I learned from my previous builds is that the door swing it it, it gets in the way and sometimes you know when you're in such a tight space it, you know things get knocked around and you can't always open things uh, because the door is a little bit too big and then you're, you're kind of reaching in with a little crack because something's holding it back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make it a double door swing so that two smaller doors will open to reduce the amount of swing that the door has all right, so the drawback of using uh, you know, the double swing doors is that you, know, you have to use twice as much hardware. You need two, two handles, you need two, two, four hinges and two handles, and uh, four magnets, uh, two magnets to hold it in. And unfortunately for me, my stash, I have two pairs that are different, but I'm gonna use it anyway, because I don't wanna go out and buy a new one. All right, so you can see I got the, the brackets in, and. This side is different than that side, but I may change it one day, but I doubt it. We'll see. So I cut these two pieces. And they're gonna go, gonna go like this. I'm gonna mount them up, put on some handles. All right, so I got it in. It's, it's a little tight and it may get worse when things get hot and I may have to sand it down, you know, It'll, it'll be okay for now. Uh, I'm almost certain I'll have to sand it down just to make it look not so tight, but I think you got the idea. This is what the cabinet will look like. The sink will slide in and out. Slide in and out. It'll be nice and flush. Nice and tight in there. I'll probably put a, some kind of lock so that it doesn't fly around, but 
it's so tight right now, it, it's not going anywhere. Let's, let's take a look at the sink. So there's the sink. And there's the sink cabinet. Let's test it out. All right, so my plan is to have the bathroom sink go right here. Uh, the bed will go right there. And this is just high, high enough so that I can still see safely outside the, the rear, rear, rear window. I got a cup of water and you know, let's give it a shot. I'm sure it'll work, but I'm gonna have to take off the plug. Catches water very nice. And when you're done, plug it up. Ready? Pull out the sink. And then you just dump it out. Your gray water. <laughs> dump out your gray water. All right. So that is the oil drain sink. It's definitely the sink you want.